I would like to introduce the data. The National Health Care Service class large amount of geospatial-based, high-dimensional, and multivariate data. Generally, they uh, present this data by some simple, simple visualization tools, such as uh, original England map divided in more than 200 CCG regions, and uh, uh, basic light chart just Visualization one attribute in single visualization. And our project is trying to combine those geo geospatial information and the multivariate high dimensional data together. Uh, we call this cut graph tree. We use a cut graph to represent the, the geospatial information and we use a tree map to represent the uh, multivariate data. They also developed a novel algorithm for generating the cut graph, and we use a novel uh, error metric to generate uh, to evaluate the performance. They also implement several user options for uh, enable the user to uh, to interact with the system. All this data is from the real data from NHS. So we can see some uh, interesting observation from the output. We collect several literature uh, about cartogram and tree maps, and we evaluate, evaluate those, those papers based on five main features which our project has. Uh, one is geospatial information, neighborhood preservation, multivariate, hierarchical, and space filling. And you can see most of the category paper fit for the geospatial information and the neighborhood preservation. And about the tree map paper uh, fit for the space filling and uh, multivariate and hierarchical. None of this paper fit all the five main features quite well. So that means all projects are kind of normal. Here is the flow chart for the whole project. First, we got the input, input data. We, based on the original map, we compute the central point, and we increase the central point uh, several times. Each time we run the fastener fast overlap removal algorithm to remove the overlap between regions. By running this, this loop several times, we can go to the final output for the catagram. And then we implement the tree map inside the CCG node and goes to the final output. We also provide several user options so to enable the user to render the final output by their preference. Here is a, a simple explain of the project. First, we got the original map, we calculate the central point, and we increase the size of the central point, and we got the final output. You, you, you can st still find the similarity from between the original map with the final output. We use a fast mode overlap removal algorithm to remove the overlap between regions, and we use the order tree map algorithm to draw the order tree map inside the CCG node. We also developed uh, uh, error metric to uh, evaluate, <laughs> evaluate the performance of the, our neighborhood preservation. Uh, in this figure, it shows a from north to south error variation. You can see there are few lines between each regions. If the after a uh, cartogram generated, if the two regions, the, the order of two regions is different, from its original uh, order, we found an error and we draw a line uh, between the central point. You can see there are few lines. We calculate the number of lines and uh, compare with the worst case 
to get the percentage of the error. We also develop several user options to uh, make different outputs, such as map, uh, the size map to the population, or the size is uniform. Uh, and we also in introduce a higher hierarchy uh, error group to group the CCD nodes based on its error code. Uh, we also develop some focus on the context filter to make the user to focus on uh, the information they uh, care about. Uh, here is a, a video to show all this all project in detail. And first, uh, we can set the maximum size. When we increase the maximum size, there, uh, the output takes more space uh, off the screen. And you can see more detail. Also, we can set the increment size. By setting the increment size, the cathode generating speed is became much faster, but the accuracy of the map is uh, decreased. <coughs> also, we can set the, uh, the CCG node size to the population. By using this, you can uh, compare the uh, disorder in numbers uh, rather than uh, percentage. Here we group the uh, CCG regions in, by their arrow group code. So you can see there are a few rectangles. And you can see, see the de detail by clicking the endnote. We also pro provide some uh, static uh, about the, how, how much the, uh, the output fills the sc screen and uh, how much the error. So there are several statics about the percentage of error or about the percentage of space filling. Something. So by increased step by step, we can see the percentage of screens filling is increased and the, also the error is increased. We pro also provide the user the trade-off between the <coughs> map and the percent, percentage of uh, space filling. Yeah. Here is the, uh, uh, the visualization of arrows with the lines, crossing lines. And this is the best to use the crossing lines. And this is south, uh, north to south crossing. And together. Yeah. We also provide the Use are several options for the color map and to the uh,
they have the reference for each color. They can make the color gradient in the central. And we use the focus on context visualization to show above average or below average. Here is the above average. You can see the linear area is much closer and the north west of the things is above average, so it's empty for the below average visualization. We also provides uh, the user to select few attributes to, sh uh, to look at. You can see just print as much as they want. It's just one, and you can find this one is the biggest among all the other. And we have some observation from that. First, we have found this area is uh, more, half the most of the population by map to the population size. And you can see the diabetes and the hypertension is the uh, uh, most, uh, uh, most popular <laughs> disease. And you can, uh, by select just one attribute, you, you can easily find the biggest one of diabetes and mental health and kidney disease. By using this error, error group visualization, we can just focus on uh, the region information here three is the linear area and you can see the most uh, attributes is empty so that means it's below the average as you can still see the diabetes and the mental health is a problem in London as you can see most western regions most uh, most uh, attributes is higher than the average This line chart shows the result, uh, the, uh, the link between the space and the error. So the, the higher the space filling percentage is, the uh, higher the uh, error is got. Uh, uh, we also got some feedback from the domain experts that since our visualization has some contribute to help the domain experts to analyze the data. So in the future work, they should work on more uh, on introduce more hierarchy inside the nodes, and uh, we should uh, investigate more color maps. And uh, we can sh show you nicely. <laughs> and uh, here is some reference. And, uh, that's it. Um, I'll actually show the video first off, that was really good. Um, when you got to the uh, error metrics yeah. and you saw sort of the crossovers near the lines there, and, uh, um, did, is there any sort of numerical value associated with that? I know you said that you're comparing it to the worst case, 
Yeah. So is it a percentage or is it? A yeah. It, uh, if it, the, the worst case you you start maybe if other uh, uh, other work order is has been changed, mm -hmm. you can say the the map is completely different with mm -hmm. the previous one. We start with the worst case, so we calculate the number of worst case and compare with the real error, and we got the percentage. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions for Chuck? Everybody understood it? Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see what next week is. So I've seen this before. <laughs> That graph there, the one you sat on. Sorry. You got, you got the um, that one, yeah. the percentage versus space filling. What are the two different yeah. lines? Oh, I, I should explain it. Uh, the uh, the right line is the global error. So uh, sometimes they just care about the neighborhood variation, just with the neighbor or something wrong with it. So. Uh, the, the blue line shows is just uh, just cross with this neighbor or some uh, or some regions near, but the red line shows cross everywhere. So uh, you, sometimes you didn't care about the region at the top and the bottom is the other variant. Uh, uh, there is an error, error you didn't care about that. Yeah. That we calculate as a global error. But yeah, if you see the local memories, actually it's not that high. Okay. So it means that if, if it, it is roughly in the same position but it shifted a little bit yeah. like that, but locally the next to each other, the local error would be still be fine. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions for Chuck? Any suggestions for his presentation? Um, yeah, this this one could probably be a uh, graph could probably be larger. Yeah. If you do, you have the original file set. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe make could you make make this bigger. Yeah, just make it bigger, and maybe you could have the legend for the colors then as well. Mm. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> you mentioned the uh, CCG regions, but I don't think you actually describe what CCG regions are. You yeah, because actually the reason I didn't describe it is really hard to pronounce it. <laughs> Clinical coalition. Uh, yeah. so clean, clinical, clinical coalition group. Co commission. commission group, I think. Yeah, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. Clinical commission group. Something. Yeah. I should should write in. Yeah, because you use it quite a lot. And yeah. Put it on. Yeah. Just put it, just put it on the slides and then point at it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it needs. Yeah. yeah. Clinical commission group. Yeah. In your uh, future work, you didn't mention time-oriented data. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so potentially, I I should add that in. Of course. Yeah. Maybe I should look at the paper I did, so. Um, you got a, a table, I think, on the second or third slide. I think the... Um, this one? Yeah, the longer top are a bit difficult to read. Mm -hmm. The front looks a bit strange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As if it just needs to be made bold or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And then on your videos as well, it's some of the um, some of the read it was how to read some of it when it was overlaying the writing on top of the space filling as it were. Um, yeah, it's just the station. And it seems to write some spare room at the bottom of the uh, <laughs> of the video as well. So I thought, you know, you can fit that in. You've got some text in the yellow column. 
what's the what's the tapping P? It's uh, some some literature includes the geo geospatial information as not exactly as we thought. Okay. We calculate the uh, adjacent preservation or something to uh, describe this uh, special geospatial. Okay. I have some feedback. <clears throat> Firstly, your timing is good. Yeah. So you did uh, 15 minutes, so perfect timing. Slide 2. It would be good to number your slides, by the way. <clears throat> it might be nice to start out just by mentioning some challenges that the NHS faces. Uh, yeah. You know, just mention something like that, you know, rising costs, yeah. aging population, and things like that. Yeah. Right, that's the, that's the quote, real motivation. Right, I, I always say something like mounting pressure, increasing pressure. Yeah. Right, it, it's like a, it, it's the NHS sort of in the media, it looks like a ship that's like falling apart, <laughs> you know, springing holes, and, and like, you know, maybe like thinking about sinking. But, yeah, I don't know. It's, isn't it true? A vision is to talk as you from several people, maybe some uh, fans of NHS, if I talk about, talk about this. Yeah, that's why you just say there, are, it has, it has like, it faces increasing pressure, right? Because you yeah. have a growing population, yeah. you have an aging population, yeah. you also have a population that's getting more sick. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's, it, all illnesses are increasing. Diabetes is increasing, cancer is increasing, cardiovascular disease. The pressure on the NHS, staff cuts, right? Brexit, budgets. <laughs> you just want to mention, like, the NHS faces tremendous challenges. Here are a few. Therefore, they collect data to, to help them face their challenges. That, that's at least how I think, that's, that's how I would sort of start the, the conversation. So I would just mention that in the beginning. Okay, slide three. Too many words, too much text. I, I, I know you like text and I know why you have lots of text there. <laughs> and I, I just, it's a lot though, and it would be great to, to get rid of some of that text. So on this slide, I would say something like, because the NHS collects so much data, it's, it's nice to visualize it. And you would say something like, you could choose a tree map, right, to visualize it, because it's space filling. Yeah. Those are, it's a traditional way. But it doesn't have the geospatial information. Or you could choose a cartogram, which has the geospatial information, but it's not space filling. Look at what happens when you try to, and it's univariate, generally speaking. Yeah. I would mention those two things on on this slide. Like, you know, lots of data. So you can see pressure on the NHS. Lots of data. It's following that pipeline. Remember that pipeline? Yeah. It's yeah. following that pipeline. So lots of pressure. Real world challenges. Remember that? <laughs> Real world challenges. The pressure. Um, then there's an analog solution, which we don't talk about. Then the, the digital solution is collecting data. But then what happens? These are the problems when you try to collect the data and then try your traditional visualization approaches like tree maps or... Cartographs. Yeah, and then and then you would say 
you want to get the advantages of both train maps and cartographs. I, you might have said that, but it, it, you know, it doesn't hurt to say it in the slide. Like you could have, you could have a little matrix like tree map advantages, disadvantages, cartogram advantages, disadvantages. Well, you sort of have that in the related work section, but you know, it could be, could be interesting. Slide. Yeah, so in, in this slide four, the next one, this is nice. In, 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 yeah, the, well, you, actually, we need to number your slides because we don't know. But I think slide four is the previous one, later work slide. It, it would be nice to say something like we have cartograms at the top. And, and but they're not space filling, and we have tree maps at the bottom, but they have lots of geospatial error. Therefore, we give the user the trade-off between error and space space efficiency. Therefore, like that message, I think didn't quite get across. Of this, the you fill all the categories. Yeah. Like, <coughs> just add that to the table. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I think if I looked at even from quite far away, um, you know, the first thing I'd see when I looked at this is, I'm just got all of them, and I'm like, oh, that one is, you know, it's about. Yeah, that's another option. That's another option. But the basic, the basic message is we give the user the control over the space versus error. Yeah. That's like the basic message. That's the basic kind of contribution in one. If you just had one sentence, that would be the one sentence. Okay, and then the next slide. So you want to update the title. Uh, yeah. Nobody has any comments about this slide? <laughs> no. Really? Come on, Liam. Color, maybe. Well. Liam, you're the expert at, at slide slide improvement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you said it, now you make me think there is something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I have to find it. You're just hoping I'll find it. <laughs> oh, spell mistakes. Spell mistakes. <laughs> There we go. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> some spelling errors. Compute right. sensor it's points. Sound. I can't see the spelling. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I don't believe you. Oh. Please. And rendering. Yeah. 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 And rendering yeah. is spelled at the bottom. Yes. Yes. Like I remember. Yeah, I, you know, I, I just copy and paste my figures yeah. from paper, the paper. Like I don't make new figures for slides. Yeah. You won't have to make a new figure for a slide. Actually, maybe in the appendix. So this is in the papers, and these errors are in the papers. Well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yes, it was in the title. Though. No. It was the title. <laughs> Anyway, so I'll update the title and uh, the misspelling. Yeah. Next slide. Again, I think I would update the title to something a little bit more descriptive. Like, like I don't know, maybe cartographic tree map layout, for example, could be the title. I think the one for the center point one in the middle is not. Yeah, it's very hard to see that. Yeah, that, that, that could be like given a label. Like there could be, it's like on the left, like original CCG map. Yeah. And then the next one underneath, like center points of CCGs. And then the right one would be 
something like you know cartograph cartographic tree map layout, something like that. Yeah. It is very hard to see what it is from the back. Yeah. It's just like size one points. So I, I don't know how you fix that. I can increase the central point size that a little bit. Add a background um, color to it. What you might be able to do is just zoom in to a specific point. Yeah. And not show all of them. Just add a label that says center points below. <laughs> center points. The projector at the conference hopefully will be bigger. And plus, once you show the video, doesn't it become clear when the yeah. video Yeah, the video it does. Um, Okay, next one. I would update this slide title again as well. Then, uh, I've got some poor slide titles all neglected. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is this slide absolutely necessary? Uh, I just want to reference this to many algorithms they use. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. Okay, well then you would you'd say something like Cartographic, cartographic, tree map, algorithms. You could just have an example of both of them as well, so you don't have to go into as much detail. So it's just mm -hmm. an example of a script, uh, script node, and yes, then just a, a picture of two squares not overlapping or something like that. Yeah, maybe, so maybe not that easy, but... Some images to support that would make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Next slide. Okay, that's I have no comments there, I think. Next one. I would just add the word letter S onto options. Interactive user options. But this um, one, it might be better to just have, because you go through all these uh, all three of the pictures in the video, yeah. it might be best to just have one big one. Uh, one big what? One, one of those, just select one of them and make it larger, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so people can kind of get in a bit more detail. I'm not sure I would go with that. <laughs> more full images make it. Reinforces there are lots of user options. Yeah. There's one image and it'll like yeah. it'll play down the fact there are lots of user options there. Mm -hmm. If that was the case, they were already not lined up because you've got six. Yeah. But it's just three, so yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe instead of, maybe instead of, well, I don't know, I can imagine uh, just replacing all this with the text with, like, we demonstrate in the following video. That, that could be something. Anyways, I, I only have the comment about the S on this slide. <laughs> and the video itself, which is nice, by the way, I think it would be really great if you also mentioned the why behind the user options. Like you, sometimes you say what a user option is, yeah. but I don't remember you saying why. So the first user option I think you, you talk about is the maximum node size. Yeah. Well, why is that? Why is that a user option? Uh, why? <laughs> Actually, as far as we saw to reduce the maximum size is just to figure out the common space value or something. But uh, at the very beginning, I think the maximum size is just set for to increase the low size, size by this button. So. <laughs> I can't quite remember the first reason, but this one? 
Uh, it's just for, for fast. <laughs> just for fun? Not, not just for fun, but uh, uh, for to <laughs> test uh, the algorithm and t test uh, how, uh, how, how well the output is compared with the original map, I think. Getting closer, yes. 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 It's to give the user control of the error. No. The, it, that is the trade-off. The trade-off between space and error. That that spider. So you would say we give the we give this user option so that the user has interactive control over the trade-off between space efficiency and error. Yeah. And you would do that for the other the other user options too. Like why why are they user options? They're beautiful user options. It would be good to say why. Yeah. Right, the filtering, the below and above average filtering in, in the focus and context. Yeah. What would you say the reasons are for those? It just helps the user to focus on just the important informations they want to say and to find out, to quick figure out the above average error and the below average error. You can mention like the a cartographic tree map with fourteen variants has is too much information, or it's a lot of information at the same time. That was Ben Schneiderman's reaction. Yeah. He said, "Whoa, that's a lot of information." That was that was his reaction when he saw it. So then you say, "Good, yes, it is a lot of information. Therefore, we have these filtering options." Things like that. I think the video could do with the centering. Centering? Yeah, it's just put it in the middle of the screen. It's a bit higher. Yeah. It's a little thing. Yeah. And then the, the domain expert feedback, I would, I would add quotes to those oh. sentences. Like that is really taken from the the domain experts. Any other comments or questions for Chad? Well, you're the expert on this topic as well, actually. You think it could be useful this this stuff? To be honest. The data analysts in my department they actually don't understand those visualizations. So it would be a very high learning curve for them, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if, imagine they went to a tutorial and they learned. If, yeah. Think it could be useful? Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's of course better than all the bar charts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Thank you, Chow. Yeah. <laughs>